Mental Health Act 1999, Wikipedia article audio. The Mental Health Act 1999 was an act of the Scottish Parliament which was passed by the Parliament in September 1999 and was designed to close a loophole in the law which led to the release of mentally ill killer, Noel Ruddell, who was released from the state hospital at Carstairs after arguing its treatment programs were no longer of benefit to him. This was the first act passed by the Scottish Parliament after its establishment in 1999. Purpose of Act History The Act had two main purposes. The first was to add a new criterion to the statutory tests applied by a sheriff or the Scottish ministers when considering whether to order the discharge of a restricted patient. The sheriff and the Scottish ministers must now refuse to order a discharge if satisfied that the patient has a mental disorder, the effect of which is that continuing detention in hospital is necessary to protect the public from serious harm. That is so whether or not the patient is to receive medical treatment for the mental disorder. The second is to introduce a right of appeal against a decision, notification, or recommendation of a sheriff in relation to an appeal brought by a restricted patient in terms of Part 6 of the Mental Health Act 1984. The right of appeal against the sheriff's decision, notification, or recommendation is conferred on both the patient and the Scottish ministers. The appeal is to the Court of Session. The Act also widens the term mental disorder, which appears in earlier legislation, to include a personality disorder. In December 1991, Noel Ruddell killed his neighbor with a Kalashnikov rifle. On March 20, 1992, Ruddell pled guilty to several charges at Glasgow High Court and was ordered to be detained and sent to Carstairs State Hospital without limit of time. Ruddell obtained his release in August 1999 after making a legal appeal at the Lanark Sheriff Court on the basis that treatment programs were no longer of benefit to him. With the risk of other patients at Carstairs making appeals on similar grounds, an emergency bill was quickly brought by the Scottish Executive to the Scottish Parliament. An executive bill was introduced by Jim Wallace on August 31 and some amendments made. Passed on September 8, 1999 then gained royal assent on September 13, 1999 becoming the first legislation to be passed by the Parliament. In 2001, the legislation survived a challenge made to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. The Act was repealed on October 5, 2005 by the Mental Health Act 2003.